welcome back. And in the last video, we performed an eddy current simulation to find the ohmic losses in various parts of an EMB, an electromagnetic break. And these losses dissipate as heat. And heat is the main enemy of an EMP device. In real physical devices, each material used as a safe operating temperature limit. And if they're not operated within these thermal limits, they will degrade over time, perhaps malfunction, cause damage, and even pose safety concerns. And in this two-part video, we'll look at how an engineer can investigate the thermal heat transfer problem and make informed decisions by performing an ETM, an electrothermal management workflow simulation using ANSYS Maxwell and ICEPAC within the AEDT student version. Now ANSYS Maxwell is our electromagnetic simulation tool and it allows us to identify the amount of power loss in the various parts of a device or system. And this is the source of heat. These electrical loss profiles, when coupled into ANSYS ice pack, enables us to identify and visualize the heat flow in the various parts of the system. And we'll discuss more about it while setting up the simulation. So let's get started. Open the EMB project file from our previous video in AEDT, create a new project and rename it to EMB underscore eddy current underscore ice pack. Drag and drop the eddy current design from the EMB project to the new project that was just created. Now close the EMB project, expand the model tree, right mouse click on the copper, and select properties. Click on view, edit material, and in the pop-up window, select thermal modifier. A new column named thermal modifier appears. For the bulk conductivity, select edit under the thermal modifier from the drop-down menu. And in that pop-up window, either enter an expression for the modifier or use a temperature dependent data set by checking the radio box. And you can either import the data set or add the data manually by selecting Edit Data Set. You can also define the thermal modifier using a quadratic equation by selecting the quadratic option. So let us use the standard expression for copper as shown here. And since copper resistivity conductivity varies with temperature, we are using the temperature coefficient of resistivity for copper, which is 0.0039 per degree Celsius. And note that the details how these values were measured for the various components in your design helps increase the accuracy of your ice pack simulation heat profile. And also the temperature dependent properties must be defined for at least one component to use two-way coupling between Maxwell and Icepack. Click OK to close the windows. Right mouse click on the design name and select Set Object Temperature. In the Temperature of Objects panel, enable the Include Temperature Dependence and enable Feedback. Click OK. And click on the Simulation tab and validate the design to make sure there are no errors in the setup. Right mouse click on the analysis and select analyze all. And from the previous video, we have the named expressions for the losses using the field calculator. And once the analysis is complete, we can view these values again. Right mouse click on results, create field report, data table, and under category, select calculator expressions, select all three functions under the quantity by holding the control key and clicking on new report. And you'll see the ohmic losses for the three components in a tabular format. And now this Maxwell design is ready to be coupled with ice pack 
for the thermal heat transfer analysis. In the next video, we'll see how to set up and perform Maxwell ice pack coupling simulation. So thank you for watching this video and for more information on any of our ANSYS simulation tools, please visit courses.ansys.com today.